Dr. Sui, I'm Dinsi Kesong. I'm the co-founder of Togmo and a candidate running for the 17th Tibetan Parliament in exile. Since I was 16, for the last 11 years, I have been involved in the social and political movements of the Tibetan community in exile at both the governmental and non-governmental level. As a young Tibetan, I envision a community in exile built on the values of freedom, equality and democracy. These are the very values that the Chinese government is trying to erode and these are the very unique strengths on which we have built our political struggle in exile. A democratically dynamic community in exile is the only way to ensure that we can sustain our struggle for freedom. As such, we must find a way to work together despite our differences of Choga and Chugu, Rangzen or Umelam, or whether we are born in exile or inside Tibet. For the last 60 years, the older generations have dedicated their lives to nurturing our community and our movement. As political refugees, it is dangerous for us to remain disengaged and passive when it comes to our political struggle and our politics, especially at a time when China is doing its best to spread its influence all over the world, but its popularity and status is not the same as it was even five years ago. As such, we must build a community in exile where the youth are actively encouraged to engage in politics and where our movement is actually driven by the youth. It is due to the legacy of the older generations that young Tibetans, especially young Tibetan women now, have all the education, skills and a firm foundation of our language, our culture and our roots to carry forward our movement. One important way in which we can build stronger foundations for our movement in exile is to bring into focus the fact that our social and political movements are intertwined and of equal importance. Education, health, livelihoods, the quality of our lives in exile, these are the issues that are directly tied to our ability to sustain our political movement. We need to take up responsibility for our collective future beyond voting day. Our real roles as a democracy as voters, as the public, and as elected representatives begin after Election Day. In every decision, every policy, every parliamentary session that is held, we must all pay attention to the things that are going to affect our struggle, our futures, and our lives. No single person has all the solutions, and in a democracy, no single person should. That is the power of a democracy. This is the dream that I hope to achieve together and this is the dream that I want to work towards. But this can only happen if we all work together despite our differences.